What's going on guys? I'm Firesman Gaming. Did a recent poll on YouTube and you guys wanted to see a more in-depth look at my PS1 collection. So let's get to it. So let's get into it. Right off the bat, we got the PS1 kiosk. Running Toomba on it right now. Need to put something else in there. But we got my little squishy alien up here. Size pop out. Anyway, so a more in-depth look. If anyone knows what this is, I picked this up at a yard sale. I've no, I think it's a dust cover. Um, but gonna rearrange this probably for next year's game video all the ps4 controllers will finally come down ps1 disc wipes and we'll get into the ps1 games here I'm just gonna do like a side scroll so you guys can see what i have i'll be real patient with it but a lot of these i still have yet to put on the shelf like these right here one that you guys should look at. It's a hidden gem, Raystorm. Pretty good game. Um, I just picked up a copy of Skull Monkeys. Unfortunately, it does not have the case cover that's correct because that eye is actually supposed to move. But we got Gallerans, Vagrant Story, Intelligent, Intelligent Cube, Mega Man 6, Crusader, No Remorse. These are two that I have yet to complete. So we got Tactics, I need the manual and the disc. Mega Man X4, I just need a disc. So moving right on. I figured I'd just give you guys a glance of what I have. Because I could sit here all day and go through every single one. So PS1 is very nostalgic for me. One of the most memorable systems that I have ever owned. This is probably one that I'm going to eventually try to get a full run of. It's going to take me forever and a lot of money, but <laughs> we'll get there. Um, where are we on the shelf? Yeah, we're right here. Spec Ops. My friend had that growing up. But yeah, there's some there's some gems hidden in here. I mean, most people, when they have that display case I have, which I'm going to show you next, they would have put all their most valuable games in there. But for me, that display case is holding my childhood favorites. And then down here is my original PS2. <laughs> PS4 is taking the bottom of the shelf. I got all my demos here. More PS4. This is all going to get taken out because... Like that, I gotta make room. And then I got my PS1 standee I got from Brooklyn Game Shack, which is pretty cool. Got a bunch of junk laying back there in the corner. But yeah, um, not really gonna go into PS2, you know, PS2 Neon, stuff like that. Um, for systems, I have the PS1 there in the DualShock boxes in the display case, which I'll show you. Give you another good look at this kiosk real quick. Let me just hit the controller and she'll go. But yeah, I love it. It's got some screws in there. This is just actually sitting here. It's not actually mounted to the base plate right now. It was a pain to get upstairs. But we got it up here. I don't know how. But let's head over to the display case all right guys so next is the ps1 display case i picked this case up for i believe like 350 dollars back in the day but needless to say there's a pair of gloves down there anyway not to get off topic um i had taken this display case and i filled it with all the games that i played as a child um when i got my first ps1 
we did not have a lot of money to buy games, so we had demo discs. Um, when we did get the PlayStation 1, we did get Daredevil Derby, and my dad bought himself Sledstorm. That is my dad's original copy of Sledstorm. Um, all these games I've gotten over the years. And believe it or not, the hardest one to get was RCD Go. I could not find that. But, you know, we got Toomba in there. Einhander. Rogue Trip was a real good one. Rainbow Six. But, yeah. So these are the games that I played as a child. So if you enjoyed that video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'll do another poll, see which game part of the collection you guys want to see next. Um, until then, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon too. And until next time, happy hunting, guys.